Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by. I'm Leslie. showing you how I did this look right here I have not done a look like this in so long I have not played with colors in such a long time and colors are coming back in you guys everybody's are doing palettes with colors like every different things and I remember looking back on photos of like when I first started doing makeup it didn't look similar to what I have right now it didn't look blended properly it didn't look anywhere near this but I remember that I used to wear a lot of colors and I enjoyed it and it was my favorite part of putting on makeup now it's just an everyday look everybody wants to do like an everyday look but I enjoy playing with colors and I love to see when somebody have on a wearable color it's not like when they have on this they slap on like a green or slap on a blue and it's just like oh my god like it's too much but I love to see when a eyeshadow like a color is just wearable and you can see it with a nude lip and it's still really pretty so that is what I did today I will also have my Instagram link right here for you guys so you can see the fast forward version of this so yeah you can check that out as well I will have all my socials in the description box down below that's basically where I post whatever I'm doing first like if I'm doing a video right now I will take a picture of it and post it on snapchat kind of let you guys know that a video is coming so if you want to follow me on those I will have them in the description box down below so I don't want to talk to you guys heads off so let's just get started so the first eyeshadow I'm going to be using, this one here is in Golden Rod, and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid, almost up to my brows a little, because when I apply all those greens, I still want this golden eyeshadow to peek through. Next eyeshadow I'm taking here, and this one is in Lime. I chose this color because even though I moved on from the golden eyeshadow, this eyeshadow still has a little bit of green and a little bit of gold, and I'm building my way up to a darker, beautiful green. This eyeshadow is so beautiful, and that is why I decided I wanted to do this look. It's really based around this eyeshadow. This one here is in Kelly. It's more of an aquamarine green. It's so beautiful, blended. And as you can see, I just applied it on really sloppily. And I just threw it on because I knew that once I blended it out, it was going to be perfect. Next, I have bottle green. This one here is just a straight up dark green. It's almost similar to like, to like an army green, but just a little bit darker. It's really pretty all over the lid. The only thing with this eyeshadow is that it's really hard to blend so you have to take your time and blend it. Next I am using the LA Girl Concealer just in the center of my eyes and right on top of that I'm going to use Lucky Green. It's this really beautiful golden light green and I'm just going to apply that right on top of that LA Girl Concealer. So I moved on to a pigment. This one here is Golden Olive. I decided to use this golden color just because the color that I used, the Lucky Green, it just wasn't popping enough. But when I applied this on top, it was perfect. So I used the Kat Von D Liquid Eyeliner just to lightly line my upper lid for lashes. And then I took Feline Pencil from MAC and I lined my waterline. I'm just using the same two eyeshadows that I used the last, which is Kelly and Bottle Green, to smoke up my bottom lash line. So I wanted an extreme pop of color in my inner tear duct, so I took Teal Appeal from MAC. And I'm just applying that in the inner part of my eyes. I love the way this turned out. I would have never thought to do something like this. And it came out really pretty. Then I'm just taking this shimmer brick, which I never use. And I'm mixing all of the colors in there. And I'm putting that right on top of that teal appeal. And it turned it like a light teal color. It's really pretty. Next, I'm using Bronze Glow. Now, because my camera cut out when I was applying all of this stuff, I had to like show you guys what I was using. But I did use all of these products and then I used the lip liner in Hawkwind from Kat Von D. 
So I did not realize that my camera was not filming the fact that I put on my highlight and my lip liner. So that's what I was just showing you guys that it looks the same. The highlighter looks the same and the lip liner looks the same. So you guys can know that it's the same product. So for lipstick, I'm taking Latte from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this color. This is one of my favorite pinky nudes. And to top that off, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of Rainbow Interlude. This here is from MAC. And it's like a shimmery clear gloss. It goes perfect with every single lip color. It just kind of amps up any lip color that you have. So I just moved all of my stuff around and I was able to see all of these beautiful green eyeshadows that I'm obsessed with. If you don't know my favorite color is green, I like all greens. Like if I see an eyeshadow or any product that's green, I'm going to get it because I really love green. And I saw these and I was like, damn, I have a lot of green eyeshadows that I don't use anymore. So I decided to use those today, play around with a bunch of greens and this is what I came up with. So yeah, this is the finished look. This look is so gorgeous, you guys. So that is it, you guys. I did hope that you enjoyed this look and maybe try it out for yourself. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. It just kind of lets you guys know when I post my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, my loves. Have a great day.